Hi, I'm Andrea Gibson, and this is my poem, The Nutritionist. The nutritionist said I should eat root vegetables. Said if I could get down 13 turnips a day, I would be grounded, rooted, so my head would not keep flying away to where the darkness lives. The psychic told me my heart carries too much weight, so for $20, she'd tell me what to do. I handed the 20, she said, stop worrying, darling, you will find a good man soon. The first psychotherapist said I should spend three hours a day sitting in a dark closet with my eyes closed and my ears plugged. I tried it once but couldn't stop thinking about how gay it was to be sitting in the closet. The yogi told me to stretch everything but the truth, said to focus on the outbreath, said everyone finds happiness if they can care more about what they give than what they get. The pharmacist said Klonopin, Lamictal, Lithium, Xanax. The doctor said an antipsychotic might help me forget what the trauma said. The trauma said, don't write this poem. Nobody wants to hear you cry about the grief inside your bones. But my bones said, Tyler Clemente dove into the Hudson River, convinced he was entirely alone. My bones said, write the poem to the lamplight, considering the riverbed to the chandelier of your faith hanging by a thread, to every day you cannot get out of bed, to the bullseye of your wrist, to anyone who has ever wanted to die. I have been told sometimes the most healing thing we can do is remind ourselves over and over and over. Other people feel this too. The tomorrow that has come and gone, and it has not gotten better. When you are half finished writing that letter to your mother that says, I swear to God I tried, but when I thought I'd hit bottom, it started hitting back. There is no bruise, like the bruise loneliness kicks into the spine. So let me tell you, I know there were days when it looks like the whole world is dancing in the streets. Will you break down like the doors of their looted buildings? You are not alone and wondering who will be convicted of the crime, of insisting you keep loading your grief into the chamber of your shame. You are not weak just because your heart feels so heavy. I have never met a heavy heart that was in a phone booth with a red cape inside. Some people will never understand the kind of superpower it takes for some people to just walk outside some days. I know my smile looks like a gutter on a falling house, but my hands are always holding tight to the ripcord of believing a life can be rich like the soil, make food of decay, turn wound into highway, pick me up in a truck with that bumper sticker that says it is no measure of good health to be well adjusted to a sick society. I have never trusted anyone with the pulled back bow of my spine the way I trust the ones who come undone at the throat screaming for their pulse to find the fight to pound four nights before Tyler Clemente jumped from the George Washington Bridge I was sitting in a hotel room in my own town calculating exactly what I had to swallow to keep a bottle of sleeping pills down what I know about living is the pain is never just ours every time I hurt Another wound is an echo, so I keep listening for the moment when the grief becomes a window, when I can see what I couldn't see before through the glass of my most battered dream. I watched a dandelion lose its mind in the wind, and when it did, it scattered a thousand seeds. So the next time I tell you how easily I come out of my skin, don't try to put me back in. Just say here we are, together, at the window, aching for it to all get better but knowing there is a chance our hearts may have only just skinned their knees knowing there is a chance the worst day might still be coming let me say right now for the record I'm still gonna be here asking this world to dance even if it keeps stepping on my holy feet you you stay here with me okay you stay here with me raising your bite against the bitter dark your bright longing your brilliant fist of loss friends if the only thing we have to gain in staying is each other my god that is plenty my god that is enough my god that is so so much for the light to give each of us at each other's backs whispering over and over and over live 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 For an interview with the poet, watch this video or check out the next poem in this series.